we deal with the coronary arteries, which are the blood flow to the heart. They get plaque building on them and it's universal as we age. Patients come in with symptoms of chest pain or threatening a heart attack and we put a stent in the coronary artery and it's become the mainstay for a lot of years and, and they're very refined and they're quite good. We have dropped the number of people that require bypass surgery right down with the stents. These are two different company stents. Uh, these are large to, uh, for show. The balloons inside and then we stretch them on the wall of the artery and they become on inside and the blood goes to the center of them and the, the, the body grows a lining over the metal so that the artery that's narrowed is but wide open and the blood goes to the center of these stents. They have different designs on them so that they bend around corners. They're a um, composite metal. They have cobalt, chromium, nickel in the stent and then 95% of the stents we put in have a, a polymer uh, coating over the metal. Uh, they, the polymer will um, dilute a, a drug over about three months off the metal, off the polymer actually, to uh, prevent scarring back inside the stent so they stay open very well. They're very small, they're from two and a quarter millimeters to four millimeters in diameter, so that's not very large. They are extremely well made and uh, it's amazing the technology that can make a, a tube that'll hold the artery open and never scar back. Five to 10 years ago, almost all stents were put into the groin. Now we are going to the wrist, uh, probably over 50% of the cases now, and the patient can go home quicker. The risk of any problem with bleeding in the groin is gone, and the uh, problem with uh, complications of the procedure has gone down even further with this wrist technique. We're injecting a small five cc's of dye down the artery to see where the arteries pinch or narrowed and then we put a, a filament wire down through that blocked area. We stretch it with a balloon, make sure it's stretched to the right size before we place the stent. They have to take blood thinning agents because the, the blood in the center of that artery is running uh, across a piece of metal and our body is made to clot off and seal if we have a hole in one of our arteries. So the same process occurs on the inside then if you don't have blood thinning agents, the blood would touch the stent and want to clot. Two of the cardiologists here are now putting in a device to close a hole between the upper chambers. And then there's a device to exclude a little pouch inside the left atrium um, closure device that will actually avoid clots coming into that pouch and causing strokes. We're implanting new uh, valves. The aortic valve is a valve coming out of the heart. We actually can go through the groin into the artery, put it in place, and we, it pushes the old valve right out of the way to the side, and we have a new heart valve. But that's a great new procedure that's avoided open heart surgery. And that's, I think, the biggest, newest thing here at Market General Hospital that's been uh, phenomenally successful. Uh, we're not experimental here. We do things that are well proven, well established. And uh, if we recommend something here, it's because it's a well proven device. We don't do things that are not proven therapies.